Well, happy Friday. Today's devotional. Today is Friday, November the 8th. And today's devotional is titled Soul Care. Our reference scripture is 3 John, verse 2. And he says, Beloved, I pray that you may prosper in all things and be in health, just as your soul prospers. In this verse, John is praying not only for believers to prosper spiritually, but also to prosper physically. So, which brings up the question, why should believers need to take care of our physical body? Why should anybody need to take care of their physical body? Obviously, it's, it's for health reasons. But most importantly, we need to take care of our physical body because it honors God. Ultimately, our lives are meant to honor God. Our lives have meaning and purpose. That's why God created us. Uh, getting up each morning and choosing the right foods, exercising, taking care of our mental health, all that honors God. As Christians, remember the Holy Spirit dwells in our body. So even though it's spiritual, it's it it has a vessel that it it is is using and and living in. And so it wants to use a good, healthy body. So why should we be physically healthy? Well, it helps us live out our calling. Uh, let's think practically for a second. If we're always tired and, and, and sick, we may have trouble doing the things that God is calling us to do. However, if we're healthy, um, we have the physical energy to do the spiritual work he desires us to do. Now, I want to emphasize here that, that not all of us have are in perfect physical health. Some of us are sick, and and so God understands that because uh, God walks with us through those things. And some sicknesses we'll get over, and some we will not. But it doesn't mean that we always have to be that not that everybody has to be in perfect physical health because some people just simply cannot. Uh, it's part of their journey. So. This doesn't mean, however, that we can't live out our calling. God gives gifts according to the measures of grace. So if you have health ch challenges, God has still given you the grace to recognize where you are, own it, and do what you can do with what you have. Another thing we need to think about is that we all, we all need the strength to serve others. This goes hand in hand with what we just talked about. Our lives are not just for ourselves. We are created to serve and love others. Our physical health empowers us to serve people. For example, there are people in our community who maybe can't walk or they can't drive or they can't, they can't physically move around as well as we can. Um, so we can be that that vessel for them. We can go to the store for them. We can help them with groceries, uh, maybe picking up medicines and those kinds of things. Go places that otherwise they wouldn't be able to go on their own. But if we squander our health, we might find ourselves in a compromised position and unable to serve those people who really need to be served. And another thing to think about is this is the only body we have. Uh, we don't get another one on this side of heaven. Uh, scarcity is usually enough to make something valuable. And so the fact that this is the only body I have makes it valuable. Things that cannot be replaced are valuable and our bodies cannot be replaced. Treat it well and give thanks to God for this gift. So to conclude, not only does God want you to be spiritually doing well, but he also wants you to be doing well physically. God cares about all of us, not only about how we're doing spiritually, but how we're doing physically. God loves us and God wants us to prosper in every way. Have a good day.